Hey guys, I'm here to do a tech video, but first I have to brag about homemade pizza. No. All meat, bacon, ham, pepperoni. I was going to put salami on there, but <laughs> our salami turned bad, <laughs> so I can use it. But yay, stay tuned for a tech video. Hey guys, this is Brenda from my Baby Bones crew, and I have Craven Jade with me. I'm trying to lift her up without this. I put her in this outfit that I bought today. She looks really cute in it, even though it's a little big, but it still works. It still works. This is, she's got the pants on. And oh, she's so nice and warm and cuddly. We, I know it might be seem too hot for some of you, but um, we still have snow and it's melting though very quickly. As if if you've seen the last video of mine that I've done, I'll link it down somewhere. I'll cart it somewhere. And uh, most of our snow is gone, but we still have a lot of snow. What does she look so cute? <laughs> <clears throat> I'm here to do Shannon's tag. Hi, Shannon. Um, she, she, her, her channel is called Love Me Some Reborn Babies, and I will link and card her video down below, her original video. And okay, I want you to see Creelan, but I don't want you to see. <laughs> Just make sure my shirt is okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, she is warm. She is a heavy girl. She is a big girl. Uh, this is a 12 month size outfit, but it's a little big on her. I think she's more of a nine month size clothing. So I'll just put these cuffs, like just roll it up just a little bit. There, it fits her better. Uh -huh. She is so heavy too. I love it. I love it. And I love these boots on her just are perfect. She's a big girl, see? She's a big girl. Okay. Okay. She did a Mother's Day tag. Now, I'm trying to do this fast as supper is done. It's just cooling down. But um, she has 10 questions and one bonus question. So, I'd love to do them all. And uh, the very first question is... Um, Using only one word, ask your mom if you can, what is one word she would use to describe you as a child? Um, my mom's not here at the moment. No more. She's at home, probably, or working. I'm not sure where she is. But honestly, she doesn't like these kind of questions, so she probably wouldn't want to answer. and Or no, neither would she want to play along. So, But I know that she would probably say... That I was adventurous as a child. Um, she knew my passion and love for the outdoors and camping and hiking. And um, I would spend all day outside uh, with my friends. I used to organize clubs. Um, I had biking clubs. I had reading clubs. I had rock collecting clubs. I had, I had um, oh, so many so many different things going on. I was the oldest of a group of friends, so I was always the one that came up with a lot of ideas for us to play. So I love climbing trees, I love building forts, um, many, many things that I love doing. Oh, she's okay. Okay, I'm gonna let her fish. Just hang on to her for a sec. She's getting a little. Oh, she's cute. <laughs> I like how the painted hair is like, kind of has those bubbles to it, but, oh, she's cute. Okay, um, <clears throat> so probably adventurous. Number two, she says, uh, were you a mama's girl or a daddy's girl? I was definitely a daddy's girl, and I still am. <laughs> Number three, what is your favorite mom trick or mom hack that you learned from your mom? See, I read these questions before, and I was trying to think. She has taught me so many things on cleaning, cooking, um, 
like laundry, how to fold towels, how to fold, um, um, how to fold like <laughs> towels and bed sheets properly, um, how to iron. Um, even when my sons were born, she totally took over and like with Jeremy, my oldest, eldest, and she would teach me um, how to change him, how to bathe him, how to, like she taught me a lot of things, but the right way. So honestly, I don't know if, if ever there were any other ways of doing it because she was so like particular with these things. Um, the only kind of hack that she kind of taught me was when I was <clears throat> getting older into my adult life, young adult life, and um, uh, she would she would tell me like if you're out drinking and partying to always have a full glass of water before going to bed and take some Advil along with it and you won't have a hangover when you wake up. And it was true. I never had a hangover maybe once and I did use party a lot <laughs> so thanks mom for that hack um, other than that she taught me so many things how to crochet how to sew <clears throat> how to needlepoint um, cleaning cooking uh, with laundry how to take care of babies um, what to do in 911 situations she's very smart my mom and she's very determined and very particular in her ways. So she's kind of close-minded <laughs> that way. But um, that's, that's how she's... <clears throat> um, let's see, number four. Does your mom know about your YouTube channel? And if so, does she watch it? She does know about my YouTube channel. But no, she doesn't watch it. She hates the Reborns a lot. And she doesn't understand why grown women want to collect dolls which is fine my dad however he um does support my channel he does watch my videos not all of them but he will watch some of them and um <laughs> and my dad tells other people to subscribe to me too so thanks dad for your support in that in that regard <laughs> but no my mom i know she probably doesn't um <clears throat> <clears throat> Number five. I'm so sorry about my voice. Uh, what is a phrase or saying that your mom always sa says or said? Um, you're cruising for a person. <laughs> she used to say that to us a lot. My brother and I used to fight all the time. But, um, <laughs> no. She always did teach me, though, to be independent. Like, when you grow up to be a young woman and make sure like she knows that people fall in love and stuff but she always said that um never depend your whole self complete self onto a man like make sure you earn your own money make sure you can provide for yourself and never depend 100 percent fully on somebody else that you have to do it you have to be successful and i mean sure like fall in love with the guy and be successful together but she always made sure that um just to make sure that you know who you are and to be confident with it like with yourself so even though she doesn't really agree with a lot of my hobbies and interests she has no interest in what i like but she she's taught me though that even if you have different interests and hobbies than like other people that who cares? This is you. This is you. So be yourself and be independent. Don't never depend on anyone else. So that was good. I was glad that she taught me that. Um, <clears throat> number six, are you named after anyone special or how did your mom or dad come up with your name?
I was named after nobody. <laughs> My dad just looked into a newspaper and he saw the name Brenda and he really liked it. So he flipped the pages some more. Okay, what about a middle name? I have to find a middle name. And then he found the name Louise. So he named me Brenda Louise. Although my grandmother's name is Lulu, so it might be because Louise is close to Lulu. I'm hoping that that I'm named after my grandma, <laughs> after Lulu. So my grandmother's name was Lulu Black, and um, I really like that name. <laughs> so yeah, but I didn't like the name Louise for the longest time. <laughs> I don't know anyone who really loved their name. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm named after a newspaper, somebody in the newspaper. Um, what is something you and your mom? What is something you and your mom always loved to do together? I, I remember she taught me how to poker when I was like really young and I don't, I don't even like the poker that much. But actually I did like the poker when I was younger. I would with my mom. And she, so she taught me how to dance a bit. Um, and she was a really good singer and she was a really great dancer. She was really good at country dancing. I don't like country very much, but um, mom was really into that. So, but um, when we were young, like my mom never did her hair. She never did her makeup. She never wore perfume. She never, she wasn't a girly girl. So she was just busy all the time. She was busy with chores and work and us kids and we used to drive her up the wall I'm sure of it so um, but I remember going with uh, rides with her and trips with her when I was a young adult we used to pool our money and go um, traveling across Canada and it was great it was really good um, spending meals with her going out with restaurants with her and being proper she taught us how to properly hold cutlery and how to be respectful and how to have really great manners so she was she was very had high values and high morals high stand high standards actually so she wanted to have a good image even though she didn't wear makeup or anything she just carried herself as if she doesn't need makeup or or fancy hair or anything so <clears throat> um oh we used to go to the beach a lot that was really fun she loved taking us to the beach and swimming and barbecues and like picnics that was a lot of fun um <clears throat> Let's see, where am I? Uh, number eight, what is one of your childhood, favorite childhood memories of you and your mom? I remember, I have lots of favorite memories, but one of my favorite is when we were, um, I think I was like maybe four or five, and we'd come home shopping or from somewhere, I don't know where we were. But we I used to live at an airport at the lake. And so it was by the highway and coming home off the highway and then into our community. The community where I lived had only maybe 17 families. That's it. 15 to 70 families. That's, that's all that they had. And um, But the road leading to from the highway to our house was um, paved. But... It was like only 15 kilometer per hour road, like very slow. I don't, I'm not sure what that is, miles, but really slow. Like I could bike faster than that. But anyways, mom would drive down and she'd always say to us kids, and my brother was a toddler back then, mom would always say, look, I'm driving with no hands. And I thought that was the coolest thing in the world. I'm like, wow, well, world's magic. I thought that, I thought that was funny. <laughs> but that, sorry. But that was my favorite thing about her was she she 
came up with these funny things to just amaze me as a kid. Her thing was creating magic for kids. Like, the world is wondrous, especially at Christmas. She would always have the house decorated very magically, and everything was magical and special. And she made us kids feel very, very special at Christmas. And then New Year's, it was the parents' time <laughs> for that. So, number nine, did your mom, or did you, mom, did your mom wear a special perfume or fragment, fragrance that to this day when you smell it, you are instantly reminded of her? She didn't wear perfume, but she did wear a lot of baby oil at the beach, and she loved to tan. And she also, in the later years, she wore sunscreen. Because back in the day, babe, wearing baby oil at the beach was the thing to do. Getting a dark, a dark brown tan was the thing to do. But now, and then in the late 80s, that was a no-no anymore. So sunscreen started coming out. Like being more pushed on the public, like wear sunscreen. So the smell of sunscreen reminds me of my mom. <laughs> she loved the outdoors a lot. Like picnics and the beach especially. Um, number 10, what is your favorite recipe or dish that your mom makes or made when you were a child? Um, mom barbecued very well. She can cook, but it wasn't 100% the best. And she baked, but she always burned things. I'm doing a thing. And, um, but the thing that she made that I really loved was called hot fudge pudding. And it's so delicious. It's like a chocolate deep chocolate cake with um like the chocolate lava kind of like kind of like lava cakes but a big giant cake and it was called hot fudge pudding it was so good and mom also made um haystack cookies which i don't know just a certain kind of cookie i think it was kind of like a macaroon there's different names for it macaroons haystacks or um no bake cookies they're so good. They're delicious. Um, oh, another hack that she, I remember a hack that she taught me. She taught me, because she also did homemade cinnamon buns. And instead of cutting the dough with a knife, you cut it with a thread. And that way the dough bun comes out perfectly. So that was, that was something that she taught me. <laughs> And number 11, the bonus question. If money were not an issue and you could buy or give your mom anything in the world to show her love and appreciation on Mother's Day this year, what would you gift her? Or what would your gift be? I would totally just give her a big pile load of money and <laughs> say, here, pay your bills, go on vacation, do what you want. Um, I know that she values family a lot. But she's a lot more outgoing than I am, a lot more social than I am. So I know that she would want to spend wonderful time with her best friend. And they love traveling a lot. And they love, um, like, restaurants, like, luscious restaurants and really good food. So I would totally just say, here, have, like, go on vacation with her or even take She's been to Cuba, to Vegas a few times. She's been to, I don't know, <laughs> Granada. All these different places I, I've never been to. Or, <laughs> but she loves it. She loves traveling around the world. Me, on the other hand, that's a long story. I can't really leave Canada. Not because, just because I have no passport. And I have no passport because I have no birth certificate. And it's just a whole long another story. <laughs> But yeah, anyways guys, supper is ready. I can hear it being cut. So I'll roll up <clears throat> one more thing. I don't know what's with my throat. I hope I'm not getting a big cold or anything. But anyways guys, thank you so much for watching and listening to this take. And Shannon, this was a wonderful take by the way. So thank you for creating it. And until next time guys, hopefully this weekend. Bye for now. Bye.